Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. How a ship accident lawsuit can help A worker who is hurt in a ship accident has a right to compensation of his or her losses. Depending on the circumstances, you may be entitled to payment of your medical costs, loss of earning capacity, and other harm that you may have experienced such as physical pain, mental anguish, disfigurement, or physical limitation. People injured in ship accident often suffer significant injuries that may include mild, moderate, or severe, severe traumatic brain injuries, crushed or amputated limbs, broken bones, back and spinal cord injuries, cartilage or ligament tears, burn, toxic chemical exposure, paralysis, Drowning, multiple physical injuries, also known as polytrauma, serious injuries like the ones list above are costly and may require years of recovery and rehabilitation, during which you may not be able to fully perform the duties of your job. Not only are your receiving stocks of medical bills, but you are also unable to earn money the way you could be forced, and you may be worried about paying the rent and keeping food on the table. With media coverage on free follows lawsuit and discussion about third reform every election cycle, you may think that lawsuits are for people who are just looking to profit from nothing. However, this sentiment could not be fathers from the truth. The legal system is designed to help people like you who were seriously injured through no fault of their own. The compensation available isn't about earning money for nothing. It's about restoring what you lose because of your accident. The money you receive help ensure that your medical costs are covered and that you can continue to keep a roof over your head when you can't work. And then next about ship accident laws. A law ship can help you rebound you, your life after a catastrophic injury and a ship accident. However, it's important to ensure that your law ship is filed under the right maritime laws in order to be successful. Maritime law can be complicated and often may overlap. Various law offer different options for compensation. When you are injured in a ship accident, you may be able to collect workers' compensation. The compensation payment under the Jonas X, but you also may be able to recover payment for other demands through the legal doctrines of unseaworthiness or maintenance and cure. When the accident resulted in a death as a surviving family members may be able to show for the mix under the death on the high seas X. 
because different maritime laws apply in different situations, it is critical that you speak to a knowledgeable Houston Maritime Accident Lawyers about your case. And then about Houston Ship Accident Lawyer. Because of its access to the Gulf of Mexico, Houston is a major U.S. port city with the thriving shipping industry. The port of Houston ranks at the top of American ports for foreign waterborne tunics, import and export tunics, as well as being the leading fleet ports port in the nation. An estimates 200 million tons of cargo are shipped through Houston annually on thousands of vessel and burgers. The prevalence of shipping activity translates into jobs for many Houston residents and into many boats, ship, and park crew members traveling through the city. The shipping industry can provide good jobs. However, boats, ship, barges, and other vessel can also present hazardous working conditions when a shipping company, facial owner, or responsible contractor doesn't ensure a safe environment. Injuries are common in maritime industries and commonly result from falls from height or into the waters. and secure object falling and striking facial crew member faulty or improperly maintenance equipment malfunctioning improperly trained crew member performing job in an unsafe manner Lack of proper safety gears to protect workers. Unseaworthy facials. Many injuries suffered by seamen or other people working on ship and facial are preventable if the person or company responsible for keeping workers save follow stroke on their obligations when a person or company files to maintain a safe environment or a facial that is seaworthy then an injured worker may have a case for negligence thank you for watching this video don't forget to give like comment and subscribe